But today's video is hopefully going to be a short and sweet one. I picked up this engine on the internet on an online auction in Wisconsin. It was really cheap, so I bought it. I haven't had one before, so I kind of wanted one. This is what I'm assuming is an early 20s, I'm not real sure on the dates, Jacobson engine. What this is, is Jacobson, the mower company, ended up buying out the patent rights to the Johnson Utilimotor. I don't know if you've seen any of the videos I have on those. I have one or two of them on them. They're kind of a weird little motor. But this is after Jacobson bought them out. For a while they were just making Utilimotors with badge them as Jacobson. And every time they made an engine, it seemed they changed a little thing. And this one is about halfway in between like a regular Jacobson engine that you see on a real mower and a Johnson Utilimotor. So this is kind of a half-breed looking thing. They're kind of unusual. You don't see them very often. They're somewhat rare. And I ended up getting this one at a nice cheap price on that auction. And it's been sitting in my garage for over a year now and I haven't done anything with it. But the other day I was messing around with it and found out it had sparks. So I figured I might as well just bring it to the shop and see if it'll run. As for anything else, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna throw some gas in it, go get a starter rope and see if it'll hit off. Because there ain't much else I really need to do to it. It's fully restored. I guess the back plate's a little rusty, so I have to clean that up at some time. But otherwise, there's not much I need to do with this motor. It's fully restored. It looks fantastic. And I don't have any other real complaints about it. So I'm going to pour the gas in and see what happens. That should be enough. And I'll be right back with a starter rope. See what happens here. Never used one of these before, so I'm kind of going in blind. I'm going to say a uh, whole turn on the needle, I suppose. See what happens. Runs pretty good. It's very rare that I get an engine that I buy that I have to do absolutely nothing to. Now this one was almost an exception, but whoever restored this did it quite authentically, I'd say, and they didn't change the governor or slow it down, so it's running at speed, which to me, a cast iron flywheel this side that's wide open, spinning at that speed, just kind of scary, so. I'm going to try and slow it down because I like to have them running a bit slower than factory because it's just a little nicer to watch and then you aren't using as much fuel and stuff like that and if you aren't working them there's no point in having them running at top speed anyway so all you got to do normally at least on a Johnson Utilimotor is take the cover off a flywheel here and then there'll be a spring you can mess around with but I'll find out if it's the same on this or not. Okay so in here this is your points I'm not sure if you can tell that very well but this is your point set and this is your points low right here. You can't really see it, but there's the dip that closes your points and there's the bump that opens it. And the way that utilimotors in these govern is this lobe has a spring right here and if you crush that spring down, your points stay closed. So there's a little weight basically on that that makes that move up and down and it removes your points cycle. So if you don't have an ignition, you can't run. Sometimes you end up having to take the flywheel off to do this because you lose the spring, but there's your spring that controls your speed. Just a little guy. And what I normally do, for at least the first try, is just cut a little bit off of this. And now there's the tricky part, is you gotta try and cram this back in there. Like that, I just lobbed the spring across the shop, but I saw where it landed, so I'm gonna go grab it. There we go.
If you like this video, leave a like on it. If you didn't, leave a dislike. I wouldn't think you'd make it all the way to the end if you didn't like the video, but... If you want to see more old engine related videos, I do everything from air-cooled small engines all the way up to big hit-and-miss flywheel engines, so... Go subscribe if you want to see more stuff like that. And... I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.